Thank you for helping me and supporting me with my schoolwork, and I love you. Hey everyone, please join me welcoming the CEO of SHRM, Johnny C. Taylor. Wait, it's actually Taylor. Hey, you want to be interviewed? Yeah. Tell me something. How does it feel to have your dad at home? It feels good because I don't because I don't have to go to school. You don't have to go to school anymore? Yeah. You don't like school? Yeah. And so I get to be with him instead of my teacher and other people. So that is interesting because all the conversation online is about how do parents feel about their kids being at home. I don't think anyone talked about how kids feel about their parents being at home. So you're liking it? Yeah. So you'd like it you would you like this to be the new normal? You like it just to be all the yeah, time? Yeah, forever. What's your favorite thing about him being at home? Uh, he gets to help me with my work because my teacher makes no sense. Who what? Is the say teacher what? doesn't really. So you like him not, more than your teacher? Yeah. Okay. He makes a lot more sense. It, so have you noticed anything different in the house lately? It's full. It's full? Well, yeah, because he's always out of town and I'm always at school. Okay. And is there is there like uh, something you don't like now that because he's always at home? Um that he always has to still film and I have to get up early too. With him to film? Yeah. Okay. So do you feel like right now you're ready to go to get a job because your dad is at home? Do you want to leave the house to go get a job yes. and come back? Yes. What kind of job do you want? Um, just, I'm not sure. You're not sure yet? No. So is he teaching you everything in the house, like the subject matter, I don't know, like math or sciences and stuff? Well, I I do everything, but when I need help, I ask him. You ask him. Yeah. And if you if you wanted to say to all the kids out there something about this, who are like they're not behaving with their parents at home, how are you dealing with this? I think you should behave with your parents because they're helping you grow up. Like they wouldn't do this if it wasn't for you. Oh. Uh. And if you wanted to say something to your dad right now, what would you tell him? Thank you for helping me and supporting me with my schoolwork, and I love you. You love him? Yeah. How much from one to ten? Uh, eleven. Oh wow! Over the over over the over the ten. That's awesome. Funny story. Yeah. Taylor, tell me tell me a funny story that happened since Dad has been at home with you. Um, I remember once where I, I wanted to go to work with him, and he had to get up really really early at like six. So I got up early at five to do my work, and, and then when I was done, by the time I was done, I waited out his door so he'd know that I was ready and everything. That's awesome. Oh, look what we have here. Are you taking over some of my job? <laughs> Maybe you can start paying some bills. I think we have the new CEO here. <laughs> she's, How about uh, it? she's ready. <laughs> Good, then I can retire like I've always wanted. Come join How does Daddy. it feel, Johnny, to have her at home? Listen, it is great. It, it really is great. You know, when you do, Ah, when you work and travel as much as I do, um, it's tough. It's really, really tough and being away from your kid. And so, you know, this remote work has actually given me the opportunity to bond with her. I'm doing math that I haven't done in a very, very long, long time. time. <laughs> right? <laughs> and so every once in a while you get stomped because she'll say, Daddy, I've run into a problem. And I'm like, hell, I'd be coming to you for help on this problem. <laughs> Is that good in math or no? Yes. He is? He's good at helping me. Oh, he is? Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. And then what would you say, what would you say, Johnny, with this period? Uh, is there some aha moment that happened? Like that COVID realization, I would say. Yeah. You know, I think it was my aha moment was uh, it occurred, I thought this was about 14, 21 days. I had no idea that three months later we'd be at home. The aha moment occurred for me when the school announced that it was closed not for a couple of weeks, but for the remainder of the school year. Mm -hmm. And I just panicked because I said, because I know math doesn't mean I know how to teach math. And I, I really felt like I was putting my kid's life, I don't mean to be dramatic, but her life at risk mm -hmm. because it is so important to be academically prepared in a knowledge-based economy. How did you get to that preparation? Like, is there some things you looked or like some online search or to talk to the professor? Like what, what was the preparation like to be having your kid at home? I right. mean, I'm sure a lot of parents are struggling with this right now. That's right. Well, so technology is our friend and it has enabled so much. I mean, uh, Khan Academy, for example, uh, frankly, YouTube 
If there are you. things you can't figure out, you go online. That's the beauty. She did a big project. Remember the solar system project? Yeah. So, hell, I don't remember the planets. Barely. I barely. I remember the one we were on <laughs> called Earth, right? And so I said, maybe there's an opportunity for me to help her. And so I went online and I did my, I became refreshed mm -hmm. because I haven't had a reason to think about the solar system in a very long time. Neither do I. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. But math is, you know, those issues, even English, how they learn mm -hmm. is very different than the way we learned because, you know, I'm not a digital native. So when I think about, you know, how to do math, well, they're doing math differently by virtue of the fact that some of their math computation is assisted by computer. Mm -hmm. We were told specifically not to have a calculator, not to have a computer. So um, it's just very different. And, and I, but so the, the net net is I've learned as much as she has over this period. Mm -hmm. Is there a message you'd like to have for a working parent who's working hard, you know, they're trying to manage now, you know, their kids at home, their demanding job they have. What would you say, give them like, the one advice that, you know, worked well for you? Yeah, so one of the things I told Taylor, and I said this even before COVID, was your job is school. So just as daddy wakes up in the morning and goes to work, you have to do the same thing. So it's been amazing. We get up in the morning, our routine is very similar to the routine we had when we were going to a physical location, school or work. So we get up, we do our work, we take breaks, we sit down, I cook lunch. Mm -hmm. um, and I like hot lunches, so it's always truly cooking lunch, not sandwiches. And we then break in the evening, we'll go for walks. I literally plan the day. Uh, virtually as if I were going to an office or she was going to a school and she has her computer open the best pictures of the ones that you know are Taylor and I sitting down at the desk both doing work that's awesome yeah Taylor excited for the new t new thing daddy being at home yes you wanted to stay right yes because he always goes out when the coronavirus wasn't here so <laughs> I like it but I don't <laughs> what do you don't like about it well it's a virus I don't like getting sick and second he doesn't get to go out and go to work. Uh, but we still do exercises and things. You do exercises? Yeah. And we play a lot of games. So what kind of games? Tell me more. Tell, tell him what I'm the best at. I've won at Uno a lot. Not a lot. Who wins yes, more? Me. What? <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Your last name. <laughs> I tell Hey, I mean, it's a good stuff. Well, yes. what's our other game? Trouble. Trouble. Okay, I'll, trouble. I'll, I'll I've never heard of trouble. This. I'm the queen of trouble. He's the king of Uno. Yeah, and that's better. That's best said. She's the queen of trouble. Truly. I win trouble <laughs> a lot. Do you have a secret thing that you use at Uno that you don't tell him usually? Like well, a secret strategy? He's right here. He's right, you, want, you, you, want, you can't disclose it, right? All I can say my secret is always getting you in trouble. Oh, that's right. okay. Hey. Queen of trouble. Trouble is not, you know, I say, it's, I look at trouble as an opportunity to grow and learn, right? I mean, yeah. it's, it's not, it's a, it's, it can be a positive thing, right? Yeah, well, he's not really learning well because he keeps getting in trouble. Ooh. Are you getting in trouble Ooh. intentionally, Johnny? Ooh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Thanks so much, man. I appreciate it. Of course. It. Well, can we, can we interview your dad now? Oh, okay. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll uh, be soon going back to the interview with Johnny. Stay with us.